and welcome. My name is Jason Smoot, and today we're going to be talking about order of operations on whole numbers. So let's get started. There are three main processes that we do in math. We evaluate, we simplify, and we solve. Today's order of operations is going to focus mainly on how to evaluate an expression, although later we will also use this to simplify algebraic expressions. Let's look at this numerical expression, 6 plus 3 times 2. There are really two ways that you could approach this. The first would be to add 6 plus 3 and then multiply by 2, giving you a total value of 18. The other option would be to start from the end and do 3 times 2 to get 6 and then add 6 with a value of 12. So which one is correct? It seems silly to start from the end. We probably need some direction. That direction is going to be the order of operations or better known as PEMDAS. PEMDAS stands for parentheses and grouping symbols, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. A fun acronym that's been around since I was in school is please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Of course that works because the first letters of each of those words matches up with those operations mentioned previously. So let's take a look at our expression and see how PEMDAS could help us find the right value. There are no parentheses or exponents, so we can skip those two altogether. But there is multiplication, so that's where we need to start. You can see the red highlights, the 3 times 2 giving you a product of 6. Simplifying that allows us to look at just the sum of 6 plus 6, which gives us a value of 12. So in the end, the value was 12 and not 18 at all. So starting from the end did make sense in this problem. Special case number one. Although multiplication comes before division in PEMDAS, they do not have priority over each other. Uh, we will evaluate whichever comes first in the expression. This is called the left to right rule. So let's look at this example. In this, we see 8 divided by 2 times 7. We will do the division first in this problem because it comes before multiplication in the expression itself. So moving left to right, 8 divided by 2 would be 4. And the product of 4 and 7 gives you a value of 28. Special case number 2 is very similar, but this deals with the addition and subtraction portion of PEMDAS. Again, there's no parentheses or exponents, but since subtraction comes first, we will do the 7 minus 4 to get a difference of 3, and then add 2 to get us a final sum of 5. Again, the left to right rule puts us using subtraction first, although it is last in PEMDAS. So what about the parentheses and the exponents? Uh, in this particular example, we have both. Uh, going through PEMDAS, we will start with P, which is highlighted in red. 5 plus 4 gives us a sum of 9. Moving on to E for exponents, we see that 6 to the second power has an exponent. So that is the next step that we should do. Recall that a 2 means that there are two factors of 6 that we are multiplying together. Those factors have a product of 36, which leaves us with the second to last line of 36 minus 9. Those two values have a difference of 27. So now it's your turn. Here's an expression that has lots of different operators. Write it down and see if you can find the value using PEMDAS. Don't forget Dear Aunt Sally. Wait for it. The correct value is 11. In case you didn't get 11, let's see how we got there. Going through PEMDAS, P stands for parentheses, so in the red box we need to do the division first because it's in parentheses. So 6 divided by 3 gives you a quotient of 2. Moving on, E for exponents, we get a blue box of 2 to the third power. So now we have three factors of 2 which have a product of 8. Moving on, the orange box highlights the fact that we have multiplication. And there is no division, so we can jump right into it. So 2 times 5 equals 10. So the product of 10 falls down, and now we highlight the green box of 9 minus 8. Why? The left or right rule says to do the subtraction before the addition. So the difference of 9 and 8 is 1, and we end up with just a simple sum of 1 plus 10, which gives us 11. 